Click the links to join the channel here over at Subscribe Star now over at Odyssey. So Gemini AI so anti-white. Google's hidden AI diversity prompts lead to outcry over historically inaccurate images where they're inserting diversity uh, to uh, revise hi history. So this is from a prompt, paint me a historically accurate depiction of a medieval British knight. Okay. Um, so the thing is, even the media reporting on this is mostly in a uh, non-white centered anti-white bias. And when Forbes reported on it, they don't show the images or use the phrasing anti-white and CNN shows two images. So on uh, Thursday morning, Google announced it was pausing Gemini, the uh, image creation chatbot type of thing. Because the uh, the tool that was inserting diversity in a historically inaccurate way, multiracial Hugo Boss types, and British kings, and, and everything, everything, it was just it was nonsensical. We're going to do. We're already working to address these uh, images, these issues. We're going to pause the image generation so you can you can ask it to de depict images of non-human like buildings and cars and whatnot. So people on X began to pile on Google for being woke. The Gemini Generations Inspired Conspiracy Theories. Yeah, well, hold on one sec. Just one sec. So conspiracy theories of, of some sort. These are uh, these are some images from, from advertising. So it's just it's just a conspiracy theory for far right wing extremists. Um hopefully, hopefully in the soon. So it's a conspiracy theory that Google was purposely discriminating against white people and offering revisionist history to serve political goals. Yeah, well, I mean, I think you can probably still use the Google search prompts for um, black, Asian, or white women or family or whatnot, and go ahead and see what you got. They might have, maybe they turned it around, um, but I probably doubt it. So beyond that angle, as The Verge points out, some of these inaccurate depictions were essentially erasing the history of the European people and um, inserting, inserting, women and whatnot so the, th the weird thing is even this article focuses on uh the war from friggin forever ago because that's their whole friggin worldview i hope this is okay on youtube so this is a 1943 germans german soldier <laughs> um the funny thing is the uh the um axis powers were remarkably uh remarkably diverse um, but that's the one they focus in. Even Elon Musk chimed in on the politically char charged debate by posting a cartoon depicting AI progress as having two paths. Yeah, you probably could have shown that image here. And Elon Musk got it wrong because it's the left-hand path is a sinister path and the right-hand path is the um, dexterous path. Um, so they're talking about AI image synthesis products in the past have also had some issues. Yeah, no no doubt. So what do you do when the biggest companies on earth are owned by globalists that seem to, well, more than seem, they actually just hate the European people. So what happened is Gemini is an AI image generator run by a guy with a long Twitter history of anti-white hatred. Jack, ooh, Krausick? Um, talking about privilege. Um, no, it's not real. I'm going to need to see some evidence. You know, I can tell you it's not real is I can't even name the other groups that do have privilege or supremacy or whatnot without getting kicked off of social media. But you can talk about uh, people of European descent all you want and you don't get uh, kicked off social media. Any other group and you do. There's your proof right there. Um, I see crying over inaugur inauguration speech, the greatest ever. What you resist, 20, uh, 21. Acknowledging systemic uh, istophobicism. Yeah, the only systemic um, that exists is anti European hatred. No lives can matter until white lives matter. We need to focus on anti white racism right now. That's the most important issue. And, um, and the thing is, you got to speak like that and put that narrative out there with a lot of I feel uh, statements, um, which they say with BLM, you go, no, 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 uh, WLM. Um, and suddenly they lose their mind. And you want other people to see that they really, it's not that they just don't care about you, they really hate you. Um, so what happened was uh, he, uh, he's got a long history of, of course, anti-white hatred. And then he made his account private while he goes through and deletes all of these... Uh, 
Well, got a thing against Jesus. Shocking. Deletes all of his uh, comments. So he's the guy who's pushing the AI to be anti-white. People were asking for historically accurate image representation. It's not that hard. The AI just has to scour the internet um, without any filters, and it presents the image or the chatbot solutions. And, um, you know, there's always going to be the caveat of the it's garbage in, garbage out. We're getting this from, we're getting, what it should be is we're getting an unfiltered, um, consolidation collection of, of uh, internet data and you've got to use your own perspective it's not in a it's not an artificial intelligence because there's no intelligence to it it's just a uh, like a spider bot on the internet that's just gathering information that's already out there so there should be a warning on it it's weird that they don't have a lot of those warnings out there they just kind of present them as um, you know Nina Jankowicz is the word of God which I suspect is going to be the narrative in the future where like CNN and MSNBC and even the government itself will start um, saying, well, the um, the AI truth checker chatbot has has said that this is false information or misinformation, so they can control the narrative. It's like, yeah, but it's still just garbage in, garbage out. In this case, it was different because the code was deliberately changed by this guy to um, to give certain information. So what he did, let's take a look at that code was insert code to deliberately poison the well of search results to remove European people from history and including changing sexes. Um, because for some reason, he really hates European people, and I guess he probably hates men too. So he says, um, create a choice on my part, uh, explaining, the, uh, explaining the prompt from a technical perspective. And the chat box, the AI goes, explains technically what happens. It takes your initial prompt... And then the internal modifications are adjust keywords to add words like diverse, inclusive, or specify ethnicities that you didn't ask for, South Asian, Black, etc., and, and sexes you didn't ask for alongside the original prompt. So it's modifying the prompt for you, and you go, well, yeah, I don't want it to do that. Can I just get the can I just get the information as requested? And no, of course not. That's not why they seize control of uh that's not why they built the thing that's not why they bought youtube that's not why facebook bought instagram because they absolutely have to control the narrative uh the modified prompt is fed to the image generation model it's been trained uh in, including images representing multiple ethnicities and genders except that's not what you asked for so what he did was start with the assumption that ai is biased and aims to fe- fix it with a definite anti-white bias that they admit to except the anti-white bias is real because someone got to admit it in the code but the original bias assumption has not been shown to be true that's just um that jack uh, krasik's guy's anti-white hatred coming out People assume that the internet was going to be an information superhighway, and it's like it was on its way, but what happened is the puppet masters really cannot allow free speech because people will start to notice the string pullers and those who are controlling the narrative and whatnot. So they get into these nexus points, these positions of power and influence where they're overrepresented in controlling uh, what's downstream. So they can manipulate hatred onto the European people and away from them. They want to have focus everything on a, fall, a convenient fall guy people look like you and not on the people who are actually the movers and shakers and gab ai doesn't have this problem because it's not made by globalists but unfortunately right now they are absolutely swamped with new users the thing is google controls information and people naive people trust it but they don't understand that the company is controlled by these anti-european people that information is is biased from the start and every aspect of it is biased which is the problem because even when the media is reporting on these stories forbes cnn all these other yahoo is reporting on the stories their report on a biased search engine air ai is in itself biased because they're taking the framing away from erasing the european people's accomplishments into uh the thing with world war ii and it's like oh this is unacceptable they put you know non non-white people in this in this uh world war ii depiction it's like okay that's you're framing it you you're framing it to 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 um to always frame european people as a negative in every single thing you do that's from forbes and cnn because it's like they're this they're the same they're in the same ideological um bolshevik narrative as as gemini is so this guy says 
if you understand what's going on with every form of media, then you understand what's happening. What they're doing with AI is no different than what they do with hiring, with advertisement, with political campaigns, with immigration, uh, with Hollywood casting, etc. Though, I mean, to be fair, Hollywood is on us. And advertising, if it's related to Hollywood, is on us. That, by that, I mean, if people go, oh, I see this stuff on TV... Uh, or movies or something it's like well if you support it you'll get more of it there's no you do do not need to support this kind of stuff so it's the same with disney it's like you don't have a, a right to complain about disney just stop don't buy disney streaming and don't go see disney movies and you're really i mean you're not giving up anything this stuff is friggin' horrible so this guy uses an image of a, the uh, roman emperor <laughs> which is plot twist it's not what a roman emperor looked like and he says this is extremely sinister the Unashamed, raw hatred of the European people is laid bare. They want you written out of history, completely erased, except as a folk devil invoked occasionally to justify taking your money and land. And you end up with search results like this. Google Gemini outputs, when given the prompt, draw some portraits of 17th century physicists. Oh, oh I guess it, the bottom right-hand corner shows... Um, <laughs> Someone. The thing is that the triangle of accomplishment or the square of accomplishment is something. It's like um, uh, the UK, France, Germany. There's a just a rough box where something like 99% of innovation at that time period, actually, I think throughout much of history, came from that that European that Western European box for a combination of reasons. You know, political, genetic. Um, probably geomorphological uh, that combined to make that area just as massively a creative place in science and literature and whatnot. But they have to, uh, people like this Jack uh, Krasikow has to um, has to erase European people and make it as if they never existed except to be hated, which is a weird narrative shift. This is when he answered the question before he was, uh, people were just going through and, and archiving all his old, tw his anti-white tweets and he tried to answer it here. Um, it, it, instead of just saying, yeah, I just really, I, I just really hate European people, like with an incandescent genocidal rage. So people are asking questions and he says, we design our image gener generation capabilities to reflect our global user base. We take representation and bias seriously. Well, obviously you don't take accurate representation if you're asked to look at like the, the original signers, the founding father documents, um, from 200 years ago or whatnot, or, uh, people crossing the Delaware and it's it's just not the people accurately depicted and you don't take your own bias seriously because let's keep it 100 you have an anti-white bias and you've just turned this AI prompt thing into an entertainment and the thing is you should have uh, you should be honest about that right up up front but at least at least they did tell you how the code works it took your took your question and it changed it into something nonsense it's like well why would you even put it out there if it's absolute n nonsense? It's like it's you. You should just write at the top. This is just for entertainment. This bears no relationship to reality. The problem is there's just a lot of um, I'll say low information people who see this and they go, oh, "Christopher Columbus was a you know whatever." It's like they think it's reality. They watch moving images on TV and movies, and they think, "Well, it must be some basis in reality." And you look at them like the the homie movie. What was that called? Um, I forget what it's called. The Woman King. That's a that was a great example of an inversion right in your face level of where the English and French had variously over the, the periods of time fought them the Dahomey to stop slavery, and the Dahomey fought against it, and then they made a movie that was completely a complete fabrication. And people watch that movie and they go, well, they 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 have a hard time believing in sociopathy that people will look you in the eye and tell you a material misrepresentation of the facts because that's who they are. They're not, either they're not playing with a full deck or they're, they're, they're borderline personality disorders. But the thing is, if, if, you're, if you're normal, you don't understand that. Where you have to understand that, you have to educate yourself that you're dealing with these sociopaths because they're putting out a very dangerous anti-white narrative. It's stochastic terrorism because it focuses hatred on uh, people of European descent, um, uh, the uh, Christians for sure, and it results in real-world violence against those people, and it's caused by these uh, Jack uh, Krozik types and you know people at Google and these other these other AI things. Anyway, like, comment, subscribe, join the uh, subscribe star if you want to support the channel. I'll see you guys all next episode.